hello coders welcome back to tutor and so guys in this video we are going to learn how you can create or implement sharing feature on our react application so that if any visitor comes to our application or website they can share our page with their friends and whoever they want so guys for that we are going to use a react package that is called react share and here is this package So before using this package we have to create a new react app to see how we can use this in our react application so now i'm going to create a new react application and for that i'm going to use command prompt and right here npx create react app and react sharing don't be confused with this name guys the package name is react share so i am going to rename this project for this video react sharing so now press enter and now it will take some time to create a new react application so guys while well, this is installing let's see what are the features this package provides so if you can see here this is called the react share and if you scroll a little bit down then you can see you can implement sharing features for these social media websites and with that you can implement the share counts for facebook pinterest and many more like that so you can show your users how many times the post has been shared and with that you can see here the buttons which you can import from this package to directly use in your application and you don't have to import the external buttons to show the ui and here are the props that you can provide in these buttons so for every button uh, component you can implement these props similarly as you can see here in the facebook share button you can provide the quote and the hashtags and in the linkedin share button you can see here the title summary and source you can provide whenever you want your user to share your page link to with the sharing post similarly there are multiple specific features to all of those social sites so guys now as you can see here the application has been created now we can open this application with cd react sharing and cod now it is open in our vs code so now we can see here there is a react application created now we can open the app.js which is the main page which we are going to use to implement this react share package so now as you can see here the default code is here so now we can delete this default code and write our own code that is share page and now inside this div we are going to implement our package features so for now let's write the simple text so guys as you can see here there are multiple files that we don't need now so we are going to delete them so delete this report web vitals logo app.test and setup.test.js yes and inside the index.js we have to comment this line out we have to remove this logo from here so now let's see on our application to see if it is working or not with npm run start and as you can see the application is now running in the development mode so let's see if it is working fine or not so as you can see our application is working fine and hello code has been shown here which we wrote in our application just right now so now we're going to use this react share package inside our application and for that you know that we have to install it with this command that is npm install or i react share and now open the new terminal so while it is installing let's see how we can use this react share package in our application so if you scroll down here you can see here we can import multiple buttons so for now we are going to import facebook and 
Twitter button. Here is the Facebook share button and uh, here is the Twitter share button. So now we're going to import this all from the React share. So as you can see here, now we have some error here. So we have to use the legacy version of this package. And for that we have to use force. Now it is going to install successfully with some warnings and we don't care about that now. So now we can use the React share package inside our application. So now let's import the Facebook and Twitter buttons. Import Facebook, Facebook message, Facebook button, share button. And with that, Twitter, Twitter share button. And now we can use these buttons inside our application. So let's try that. Facebook share button and we have to give some children component here so for now let's share Facebook and now let's see our application in browser and as you can see here this is now showing here so so now I'm going to try to click on this and nothing is happening because we haven't implemented the button yet and for that we have to give the props so inside this button we have to give at least one prop to make this function that is url it is common to every share button so for now let's write here the tutorial.com and let's try again and as you can see here this package or the react share package is opening a new window for sharing our page or post to the facebook and we can now directly share on our accounts which is logged into facebook and guys as you can see here only the url or the main link of the website is showing here so maybe in case you want to share the current page on which you are right now in your application and for that you have to use and for that we are going to get the current url of the page by const current page url and we have to write here window dot location dot href and now it is going to give us the current page location or current page url and now we can use this current page url inside our any share button so now let's write this inside the curly braces current phase url and now let's try that again sorry close that again. and and as you can see here this is not working because it is considering localhost as invalid url so for now let's close this and now let's try to implement some other props and ui and as you can see here we can give the url and with that in the facebook share button we can give here hashtags and quotes so let's try that and for now let's set this url to our official page that is tutorial.com and inside the facebook share button we have to give quote and we're going to write this please share this post and inside the hashtags we have to write whatever hashtag we want to give the users to share for example hashtag code and let's try that so as you can see here the code is shown here and code will be shown whenever the user sees that in messengers or something 
so now let's try to implement the icon for this facebook share and as you can see here there is an icon given by this package only which is facebook icon so now let's try to import that to facebook icon and now let's try to use that in the facebook share button facebook icon and as you can see the icon has been shown and now it looks nicer so let's try to implement the twitter too and for that we know that we have to import the twitter button which i have already imported and with that we have to import twitter's icon and similarly we have to write here twitter sorry twitter share button inside that we have to give url which is which is current page url and inside this button we have to give the children components which we are going to provide as the twitter icon and as you can see those both buttons are implemented now so let's try to share on twitter So as you can see here the share url has been shown here inside the url and to share this post we have to log in inside the twitter similarly in any social media website we have to log in to share the post so as you can see here this is now working and let's see what are the other props which we can provide in twitter share button so here you can see you can provide title and we are which it means from the where the source is coming and hashtags related so now you can give these props inside the twitter share button similarly in any share button you can provide the corresponding props for those specific sites as you can see here the package is now working fine and now we can style this package or component in whatever way we like and we can in fact we can create a separate component for this sharing feature and we can import those in every page we want to share so for now let's style this little bit for that i'm going to use the tailwind css from the cdm And to use Tailwind CSS from the CDN, you have to copy this link from here and paste it inside the index.html, which is going to be residing inside the public folder, and paste it inside the head tag. And now we can use the Tailwind CSS styles here. So now let's center these all components. And as you can see here this is now working and i just wanted to show however you want to style you can style these components let's make this text bigger and now you can see here those both buttons are implemented and now we can use this to share our post wherever we want to by implementing all those specific buttons for a specific sites so guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you do so please subscribe this channel and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial for more videos like this